So this is how BI works. You would have your live database. The database would then send the information into our staging area. Um, now what I use here is a term called silos. Now what you would generally do is you would se segregate and categorize your information into different areas. So you would have the accounts information, policy, claims, renewals. You could have anything you want, your employee list. It, it, I'm just using these as examples but hopefully you can get the picture that you would actually segregate your data into different silos. So you're immediately now got an area of um, work for just purely your accountants versus the people that would be working with the customers and, and with your employees and so on. Once you've got your data segregated, you would then be able to then produce cubes or a cube um, which would then put this information um, into a more analytical environment. And then with those cubes created, it would then be able to be sent via a report or ad hoc reporting facilities to the report consumer. Each one of these areas though can be secured, must stress that at this point, we'll be talking about that in more detail later. Final thing to be aware of is that those sections there of the cubes and the silos are to be scheduled, they would run overnight so you would not hit um, or impact on the live database itself. So, what tools do we use in Microsoft to get to this point? Well, to produce the silos of data, we would use SSIS, which is Integration Services, and to produce the cubes, we would use SSAS, which is Analytical Services, Analysis Services. So, how does a cube work? Well, let's just take an example of an Excel spreadsheet. Imagine this is in your Excel spreadsheet. Um, I've highlighted on here the year 2005, and what we want to do is we want to know what the total summary values are for those particular areas. Now, the problem is, with Excel, it will happily add them all together with a bit of calculation, um, something like a D sum would be needed here. Um, but the problem is, you are already utilizing the computer's CPU and memory to produce this whereas with an analysis services the work has already been done for you and it would just be simply a click of a mouse button. So to convert this into what we would call a cube we would have category dimensions measure dimensions um, the difference between them is a category dimension would be things like branch one branch two branch three and a measure dimension is basically the numbers this would generally be the premium the problem with all of this is that it's still two-dimensional so we would have to run one by one by one um, to get the results i.e. adding each of the years 2005 together to get our 1.2 million figure. What we're missing is a third dimension which is time which would then layer it in a completely different approach so let's see how that would look in a cube format. But it would look something like this, where we would have our branches going down the side, our measures, for example, rather than just having one figure, we could have a commission, premium fee, etc. And then also off to the side, the years that this is all being used in. Um, so uh, 2007, 2006, 2005. So let's ask a question of the cube. What is the overall premium for branch two in 2007? Well, where would we go for that on a traditional um, file? Well, we would have to filter the data get the results by adding up lots and lots of transactions. Well the cube's already done that work for you overnight so all you would do is you would almost like um, coordinates on a map just choose the areas we want to go to. So we would select branch 2, we would select the premium and then what year. So all being well it would select that particular area of the cube straight away and pull those values out. Let's ask another question. What is the overall fee amount for branch one in 2005? Well, which square would that go to? I'll just give you a second. Okay, so if we've worked out where that would be, we should notice that it would be sitting in the back right hand corner. Now, this is putting into our minds how it all fits together. Um, in reality, it doesn't work like this, but for us to understand how cubes work, this is the best approach we can do. It is three dimensional, and we can see how it all fits together like this. So, what have we learned then in summary? Well, business intelligence 
as Mr. Ralph Kimball, the PhD, um, would say, it is the application of knowledge derived from the analysing um, an organization's data to affect a more positive outcome. Um, I would also expand on that by saying one version of the truth. Because the data is consolidated in one place, the reports can only report in one manner. The ad hoc reporting can only report in one manner. It allows you to apply your business logic. It allows you to use shared views of your business, the one version of the truth approach. It reduces time to decision um, in more ways than one um, because you're not clicking and waiting for a long time as it consolidates the values. And also it allows you to look at your entire business and an umbrella approach. If I wanted to see the total sales figure overall with cubes, it's just one click. Whereas if you're using your spreadsheets, you could be there for some time. It provides flexibilities in the ways you access data. Absolutely, you still have your traditional Excel and access approach to the um, data warehouse, but also you can use this um, in just purely the cubes themselves. Um, time to impact, low latency query results. Absolutely, it's very, very quick. And no reporting writing skills are required for some of your managers who need to get the data because they can use tools like ProClarity and Report Builder to put it all together. So with the basics covered here, we can now start going into the uh, meat of the product. And our first port of call is really talking about integration services. So I hope you can join me for that next video. Thanks.